Hey everybody, it's Jay Ball, Blue Days Outdoors. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. And man, I'm really excited to make this video for you guys because this is going to be the earliest that I have ever open water bass fish in, I think, my entire life. So it is literally the middle of March right now. You guys can see behind me, I'm at one of my favorite local lakes to do some bank fish and there's still ice in the water. I mean, I maybe have a trough that's 40 yards wide and maybe 20 yards deep off the bank that's actually open water. Um, but what I want to do is I want to try to help clear up some confusion that you may or may not have when it comes to spring bass fishing, especially here in Michigan. This may or may not apply to your waters depending on where you're at. But generally when you've got ice conditions in your lake, it takes a little bit of time for the metabolism of not only the bass, but also the predatory fish to kind of kick up and kick in gear. So it's really important in this time of year to slow your presentations down take your time don't get too overzealous and really think about the fish themselves as far as what they're feeding on so this time of year bass are feeding on a lot of, a lot of crayfish probably some bluegills but again cray, crayfish are coming out of hibernation bluegills are still a little bit lethargic from swimming all winter under the ice so what i want to do is talk about my top four baits that i always have with me whether i'm bank fishing or whether i'm on the boat and one of the very first things that i love to pick up this time of year is a football jig i'll show you guys this one uh, this is a Chompers 3 8 ounce uh, orange pumpkin or green pumpkin with a little bit of orange in it. And then I use a Strike King uh, orange or a green pumpkin rage tail chunk and then I dip it in spike it pink dye. And it makes gives it those orange craws. And everyone knows that bass absolutely love crawfish in the spring. Throwing red is a really popular color. I've had a lot of good success on this jig. And I actually use this on this Abu Garcia. It's a 7 foot 6 medium heavy rod. And the gear ratio on the reel is actually kind of low. Um, it's not super fast. I think it's like, uh, what is it, six to one or seven to one, something like that. But I really like to slow my presentations down. So the very first thing that I typically pick up is this uh, Chompers jig. And what I'll do is I'll actually take the JB's Crawfish Jelly from Little Lipstick. So you guys are familiar with the Crawfish Jelly. And I actually will smash it in the brush guard. You actually guys probably can maybe see that where the brush guard's a little bit slimy. I'll put it on the brush guard and then on the claws itself. Just again, give it that little bit more flavor. If it looks like a crawfish, if it smells like a crawfish, if it tastes like a crawfish, it probably is a crawfish. So that is the number one bait that I throw this time of year is a jig. So make sure you got a football jig tied on. Uh, second bait that I always love throwing, you guys know I'm a huge fan of pink. So I've got the pink jackhammer here that I made with the pink spike of dye. I've got the Pearl Menace trailer on it that I've also dipped in pink. So you guys can take a look at this thing. It is super, super pink. And I just love throwing pink. You guys know from, for those of you that have watched my videos before, but check out how pink that thing is. Again, if you guys wanna see how I make this stuff pink, I'll leave a link in this video to how I, I make all my lures pink. But this is a, I think a 3 8 ounce um, jackhammer with a rage, or rage tail pearl menace trailer that I dip in pink dye. And what I do with the crawfish jelly here, I'll just show you this real quick, is I actually will take the crawfish jelly and I'll put it on the inside of the blade. Okay, and what that does is it actually will wear off a lot slower if it's on the inside of the blade than the outside of the blade. And it doesn't mess up the, the movement of it. And then what I'll do too is I'll coat the tails a little bit just to give it a little bit more added scent. As far as the reel goes, rod and reel combo. So this is another Boo Garcia. This is the, I think it's called the Virtus series. And this is a, what, seven foot three medium heavy. And I've got this paired with the Revo, uh, Revo X reel. This is a six or eight ball bearing uh, reel. It's a 6.6 .6 to one. And again, I'm really anxious. I wanna get out here and I wanna fish. I wanna cast, I wanna reel fast, but I purposely use slower gear ratio reels to slow myself down this time of year because again, those fish are really lethargic. The metabolism still is trying to kick in and most of the predatory fish and the bait that they're feeding on. Now what I've got is something a little bit different. I'm playing with this a little bit, but I've got 12 pound fluorocarbon leader tied onto a 20 pound braid, a Power Pearl High Vis Yellow Braid. I felt like last year, especially during the pre-spawn and post-spawn when the water got warmer, that I was losing a lot of bites because of the stretch even in fluorocarbon. So I switched up to this braid fluorocarbon combo just to give it a try to see how well it works. So we're gonna throw this second. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make this video right now and then I'm gonna make another video showing you guys how I fish each of these presentations. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, third, uh, probably some sort of uh, lipless crankbait or some sort of rattle trap or rip and wrap. Really big fan of these. Again, in, in any sort of craw crawler, craw color, sorry, this is the EA Bay Company crawfish color. And I use this on a seven foot medium heavy fax ash and uh, rod. This is the 
uh, Boo Garcia, the Vendetta series with a um, Revo SX spinning reel, 10 pound floor cart or 10 pound high vis yellow braid with 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. Again, I coat this thing back and forth with lure lipstick crawfish jelly. I work this off the bottom and this is this is absolutely killer for cold water bass, especially in the spring and or the fall. Last but not least, when the water starts to warm up a little bit more, I'll throw a square bill crankbait. So this is an EA bait company. It's a 1.5 square bill. I've got this on a Boo Garcia Black Max combo. This is what, a seven foot medium heavy with again that Revo reel, slower reel combo. Uh, I think it's probably 12 or 15 pound fluorocarbon. I run on this, run Seaguar fluorocarbon. But again, guys, it looks like a crawfish. I put the lure lipstick crawfish jelly on it and guys, they absolutely freight train this thing. So I probably won't throw this, I, I will throw it today because I'm gonna make another video to show you guys how I fish this. But really, there's still ice on the water. The water's probably like 33, 34 degrees. So the first bait that I'm going to pick up is going to be the jig. And then I'm going to throw the chatter bait and then the lipless crankbait. So those are the four lures that I have with me all the time in the spring, whether it's bank fishing or I'm on the, or I'm on the boat. So hope you guys enjoy this really quick video. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you, you leave a comment. See, hopefully you guys like this stuff. If there's any other kind of stuff you guys want to see, let me know. But uh, yeah, let's get, to, let's get to fishing. I'm going to wrap this video up here and make another one for you guys to show you how I fish all these combinations. So don't miss it. Again, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate every single one of you. And remember, the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks, and we'll catch you on the water next time.